Hello and welcome. It's Julie here. I'm um, I'm going to have a go at working with a catalyst wedge today. I have used them before, so I'm going to um, do a background and then I'm going to layer some of these colours that I have left here. So we might get straight into it. I'm going to put white down first, but I am going to make it a different uh, background than just white. M mind you, maybe my um, catalyst wedge um, effects will show up better on a white background just to, for the purpose of this demonstration. I've got a gooby bits. Oh my goodness. I'm not too worried about going over the edges at this time because that's something I can complete and I'm um, doing this particular thing to see if it works out because I have an idea for an underwater um, underwater creation or effect so I can add fishes and things but this is just my tester so you've got to come along with me for the ride see how we go so just putting the coat on of um, just my normal white acrylic with my normal pouring medium it's not house paint or somebody's been asking me lately are you using how I very rarely use house paint uh, and if I do I will tell you straight away that at the beginning I'm using house paint so um, unless I say otherwise it's just my normal acrylic and it's mixed exactly the same as my other paints okay so that's given that sort of a roughish base not um, too crazy there so what I'm going to do is I've got some weird colors left but I'm going to try them so I've got my berry delicious but it had a good squirt of the iridescent medium in which gives it a really nice sparkling effect so I'm going to just lay my colors on the bottom of this one you will see what I'm going to do so it's just an idea and hopefully if it turns out then I can definitely um, maybe create what I'm looking at doing is the underwater scene but uh, probably not with these particular colors but these are what I've got left over at the moment so I do want to use them up and I'm sure they'll be lovely because these are oh, this is the um, Ooh, ah. I can't remember the name of it I'll have a look in a minute wicker and I've put some iridescent medium in this too so actually the wicker and that um, it's my berry delicious which is dark red blob of phthalo blue and a bit of black if you want it to go even darker but it is a lovely colour so I think this was the one I made up out of metallic silver and my dark sea. Now I have done this with my new pouring medium. Don't get excited because it's not available just yet, but this this is with my new pouring medium. And as soon as it's available, trust me, I'll be letting you know. But I've been using it in all of my recent very recent pause just to you know keep doing the different techniques and seeing how it works with them so um okie doke this is the cool red and i probably like always putting way too much colors for what's needed for my catalyst wedge but i i like this already so i'm just gonna go with the flow I might just I've got no gloves on just tilt slightly just nice and slow so the colors kind of roll over each other but I don't want them to really mix because I'm hoping what I do with the catalyst which will do that for me so it'll just give me a nice color along the bottom I guess so just tilting it over, just spreading it out a bit so it isn't so chunky. Chunky's fine. 
are like chunky right here just recenter it again and I'm going to leave it like so for the minute so we've got to just have to keep checking my camera because this silly camera keeps shutting off so my son said you've used up all the memory I said yeah I think my head's like that too I've used up all my memory but anyway that's another story so I have got like a knit comb a hair knit comb I've got my catalyst wedge and I've also got this uh, this is a spreader so I'm going to try with the catalyst wedge first but I, but I, I think if I was doing this again it really would need a finer end and I haven't oh, I haven't really got the finer end except in this little tool so I'll try with this first so give it just You know what? This is, uh, if this was finer toothed, it would do a better effect. So, might try it with the Nitty Nora, the Bug Explorer. Sorry if they made you jump, people. I know, pain up the wherever okay let's try this again you dogs have got to be quiet Shh. aren't they effects beautiful and you know what because it's got that iridescent medium in it it's just sparkling 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 so just nice and lightly Wow. Do you know what? I, I, if I did that maybe with the fine one, then I could get the effect that I was thinking of trying to get uh, underwater scene, meaning that these could be reeds and I could put some little fishes in or whatever, shells or something, couldn't I? So that was the plan, like, you know, for a future one. But... I think I need a finer toothed catalyst wedge otherwise I'm going to get that very fine effect so I will have a look in my um, I've gone in the drop down box I've got my Amazon store and I have got things loaded on there and you can also look for things in there and if you do buy the same with any creator it helps the creator get a little bit of um, commission but it's of no extra cost to you even if you order a washing machine or whatever on it it doesn't cost you any more but it helps the creator so I'm just going merrily along the bottom here doing whatever this is just something different to give you choices to uh, have a go with your art there might be things that you think oh I can do that that's not too hard so it's simple but it looks effective i think what do you think going to i think that with a lovely coat of um gloss or resin will really pop you could either leave it exactly as it is or you could um yet yeah, embellish it with something in between but I think you know leaving the bit of the negative space is quite nice I'm going to whiz over it and then I'm going to bring you down for a close-up and um, see it from my side how I'm seeing it I sort of think those are too chunky if I'd have done them finer it would have worked out much better like I said with a finer tooth it'll work out so much um, better i believe wowzers trousers it's a lovely effect and can you imagine on a really big canvas and doing a you know negative space a plain color background and putting the different um 
slides through it, the catalyst wedge or comb, whatever you've got. Really, when you're up close, it shows the separation. But I absolutely do get that if you did it with a finer tooth, you're gonna get even better results. But that would actually pop, 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 because it's got so much of, see the iridescent? Medium in it is sparkling. And those colors actually look you beautiful. Super duper. But even down the bottom, I love, look at the movement that it helps create. This, um, I mean, is obviously very good if you wanted to, I don't know, create a peacock look, I guess you could. Oh, so many ideas. So I'm definitely, definitely going to get right into it and do another one. And I think I'd like to do in the uh, metallics all the sort of nice uh, browns, copper, gold. Well, there you go. What do you think, guys? Is it a winner? Or a winner, winner, chicken dinner? Or a nah? Or a sinner? Okay. That was fun. I'll, I'm really um, raring to get the canvas now and have a go on the second one. So here it goes. Bye for now. Please take care. This is secret filming now. Jimmy Q, come back. Has come back. Look. Did, did you not expect this? Um, I did do it, I did do it, and I want you to tell me, do you think it, uh, the end photos will show you the before and the after, but I absolutely think this brought so much more movement and it brought joy to me, and that's what it's all about. I am super duper happy with it myself now. I will in my next video show you the piece to try these um, things. as it is now, but also in the videos at the end. Enjoy. Love it, love it. You knew I was gonna do it. I tried to do it in the quiet. <laughs>